You ever think about buying something, but you're not really sure that it's going to work for you? That's kind of how I felt about this particular light pad. So in this video, my goal is to show you how you can use this light pad in ways that will make it useful to you as an artist or a creative. And hopefully it will inspire you to get out a light pad if you already own one and inspire you to use it again and possibly give you some new ideas for exciting ways to use the light pad. Because whenever I buy something, I don't know about you, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting the value out of that item. I was looking for something that didn't have a cord because they can be so cumbersome. So I wanted to get something that was cordless and that's why I picked this particular light pad. So if that's something that you're thinking that you want, I would highly recommend this model. It's got a really interesting shape on the side and it looks like there's a port to plug in the C P USB. I'm not really sure what that's called. Charge it, but you don't have to keep it plugged in. So that's great for artists if they want to just be able to take it, sit on the couch or whatever and do their thing. And I'm going to demonstrate how to use this light pad to trace these old comics. So this light pad has been charging for about three hours. I am going to leave it plugged in so that I can demonstrate this for you. And it says to peel off this protective layer. One of the reasons I decided to buy this particular light pad is because it was reviewed to have a very sturdy surface and scratch resistant surface as well. So if you're using this for like crafting and things like that, it will be very good for you. And also it's nice and smooth on the surface. So we're going to demonstrate how bright this gets. That is the lowest setting and it goes up five different settings. Quite nice actually. So this has the brightness, I would say comparable to kind of an iPad. One thing that I learned about this particular light pad is that because it's LED, it does not get hot. So that is a good thing to know. It's not going to overheat. These things can go on and on and on and not, the, the light will stay on. So I'm going to demonstrate a tracing of an old comic book here and what I'm going to do is demonstrate the fact that there are two comics on this page one on the front one on the back and I'm going to show how I can trace through both with the brightness of this light pad all right to make this a little bit easier I'm going to tape it at the top and start tracing This would be extremely difficult to do if it was placed against a window with some light, which is another way you could trace this. But I kind of like the fact that I can see through two different layers as I'm tracing this comic. So if that's something that you might need for yourself, this is a really good option for you. You might want to reproduce your old artwork and you might need a way to do it without getting a scanner. I've tried a couple different ways to do something like this. And of course you can check underneath it to the previous artwork and just double check and make sure that you have everything drawn in. But the nice thing is it would be difficult to do this if you didn't have a scanner, if you wanted to reproduce it. And in my case, a lot of this old paper has artifacts. They call it with old paper, it starts to yellow and then it's harder to see the detail on the paper. So I'm using a pencil first so that when I go back and trace it again with a pen, you wouldn't have to do it this way. But in this case, I know these little details are harder to see so I'd rather not mess them up the first time so if you have something that's really tiny like my artwork it's pretty small you probably want to try to get it right the first time
if something does happen to shift, it's not a big deal. You can always re realign it. That's helpful. Okay, so now that I've gotten my basic tracing done, I'm going to go back over it with a fine liner and get the details on here, the lines. I think there is absolutely no doubt that I would have difficulty seeing what I'm doing without this light. So it's really helpful if you have a lot of fine detail and you can't see very well sometimes, this will definitely help you with your tracing. So this is the result that you get. And as you could see, I traced through those two layers. So certainly didn't do a bad job, all things considered. So there are two things I want to mention about this light pad that I've noticed since I've been using it. First thing is that the surface area of this, or the surface of this light pad is very smooth. So it's not going to be hard to draw or trace onto it, which is something that I read in reviews and some people were concerned about. So that is not an issue. And then the second thing I wanted to mention is that this particular light pad, the brightness of the LED lights, I have a very sensitive, sensitive eyes. So for me, the fact that the light is not hurting my eyes is a really big deal. Sometimes lead light, cool lead light will make my eyes hurt and give me a headache, but this is not the case with this particular light pad. I really like the way this turned out. And all I did was use these colored pencils, which by the way, you don't need expensive colored pencils to make the artwork. You can see that this old comic has been brought back to life again. And I'm really happy with the results. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel because we do all sorts of fun DIY projects and artsy things that will make you super excited about your life. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.